Hamas is calling it a violation of the Charter of Rights, and it says it's prepared to violate Bill 78. The law aims to control public demonstrations. The group's leader, Gabriel Nadeau-Dubois, says Klaas has no plans to give police advance notice of their protest itineraries as required by law. Maya Johnson is at Emily Gambelan Park. Maya, so he's saying that the students are ready to face the consequences of this. He spoke to a crowd of hundreds here earlier, Mitsumi, and he says they're prepared to face steep fines, fight them in court, because they say they refuse to cave in to what they call government tactics of fear and intimidation. The young leader of a movement hailed as a hero by his followers, who say they will follow his call to action to defy Bill 78. It's, it's more important to protest according to your fundamental rights than respecting a law that is unjust. The call comes after a turbulent weekend. Police declared Sunday night's demonstration illegal almost as soon as it began, as protesters raged through the streets, hurling projectiles at officers, setting fire to their vehicles. More than 300 people were arrested. This is a record for us. Montreal police called in the SQ for backup this weekend to give exhausted officers on the local force a break. A lot of officers doing uh, 12, 16, 18 hours a day. Um, confrontation with people throwing rocks at them. Protesters accuse police of being too forceful. Have you seen the police in action? I've been arrested for walking in on the sidewalk the other day. Well, there are a lot of videos that are uh, circulating on Facebook and all of that that show that a couple of individual police officers are excessive. Now, police are facing fresh allegations of brutality because of this. A 12-second video on YouTube appears to show a cruiser charging through a crowded street and continuing to drive while someone lunges at the hood. This is not a good thing to do. You, know, you don't stop a vehicle with your hands, but again, this is part of common sense. But for the officer, imagine for an instance, this officer was getting uh, rocks at his vehicle. Imagine he stopped his vehicle, getting out of the vehicle to stop this pedestrian. It could have been a riot, and yes, he could have been using his firearm. Klaas says it's clear the government's plan to calm things down has backfired. That's probably the first reason why this government should accept to cancel this law before people got injured and, be and even be be uh, before people maybe die. That would be uh, dramatic and no one, no one wants to go there. But there seems to be a growing fear that may be a real possibility. Maya Johnson, CTV News.